I heard there was an extra scene here. I hope it, I hope it wasn't a lie. I was told it was around here. Ah! Ah! That was a jump scare. Dozer, are you still on Panacone? I have a favor to ask. Uh, do tell. Robin, what the hell? How do you have my number? I haven't, I don't, I don't have her yet. I will get her soon! Uh, actually, it's about the Grand Theater. You may have heard about the Oak family's past proclamation that guests will absolutely be safe. That is all thanks to Order's power. But this strength has since almost dissipated on Panacone. Which also means that in the present dreams, death is not an impossibility. When my older brother and I crashed onto the land back then, I was thrust into unconscious darkness. But when I awoke, I was surrounded by nurses. My brother was nowhere to be seen. Oh shit! So this actually explains what happened to them when they were falling. They crashed on land, so they, they straight up just plummeted to the ground. Well, it's good that she's been nursed back to health, but her brother's gone. I wanted to know if he was safe, but they refused to tell me. It is out of desperation that I would ask you if you would look for my brother in the Grand Theater. Even a tiny clue would be assuring. I'm now really, really afraid. Oh shit. I'm gonna be nice to Robin. She's so sweet. She helped us at the final battle. Uh, don't worry. Leave it to me. Understood. Leave it to me. I'll think of something. I'm sure he's fine. Thank you, Dozer. I'm eternally thankful. If you find anything, look for me near the ticketing booth. I'll be disguised as an Intellitron dressed in blue formal attire to avoid hounds' noses. Please. Does she have disguising powers? Or is she just like, are they just legitimately gonna put a freaking Intellitron there and say, that's Robin? Oh shit. That's crazy. I thought we had to wait till the next patch. This is kind of a neat little hidden thing. I, I actually really like it. Is this it? The corners of this notebook have turned yellow and most of the content has been stained by rust-like stains, rendering it Ill illegible. A notebook, its corners are yellowed and the majority of the notes within have been rendered incomprehensible by some kind of red rust-like stains. When you flip that rather withered, brittle page, the, a burst of bubbles brimming with bright colors rises from it. They do not linger long in the air and shift into and shifts into mirages. At that moment, you hear a faint sound next to your ears. The victor bears the responsibility of victory. Finish me. And fly into the sky. What? We were... Supposed to fly into the sky together. <laughs> Is this what they were saying when they were plummeting to the ground? If only I could. What's this? When you focus and try to track down the source of the sound, you only discover that they have disappeared like morning dew in the light that pours down from the curtains, fading without a trace. The journal's pages bear traces of what appears to be the words re resembling Robin. It could be related to that elegant songstress. I'll keep this safe for now. Lost property. I feel like this is the clue. It was even voice acted. Uh, all right, I'm going back to the ticketing booth. Okay, Robin said she was disguised as an Intellitron. So I'm expecting to see like some robot there that does not look like it would actually be Robin. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, those are over here. That's supposed to be Robin disguised? How does that work? Hey, those are over here. Okay. Elegant Intellitron. Hey, those are over here. Why did they? Why can't you just be Robin? That's funny. Robin, is that you? It's me. It's a bother talking with this face. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone noticed us. Let's talk. Did you find anything? Well, hold on. I'm just glad that she's here and alive and talking. I was afraid I had to wait till the next patch. Okay, here you go. Here's a little Bible that your brother left behind. 
The reaction is almost imperceptible, but you definitely notice her monetary shock. Momentary shock. She restores her composure very quickly and flashes a smile at you, even if her voice trembles every so slightly. Thank you. I will have a look. You don't look so good. You don't look so good. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Thank you, Dozer. Wait, let's let's stay and talk. Hold on. Don't leave. This is definitely my big brother's handwriting, and it should be one of his belongings. But this scripture, the Odes of Harmony, has nothing like this recorded in it. And this red residue. So he really... Robin chokes on her words. We m I'm really sorry. I want to be positive for her. We might still... We might still be able to turn this around, Robin. Robin simply bows her head, staring dumbly at the journal in her hands, and says nothing. She finally speaks after a long silence. Yes, we will. When we reunited at Dreamflux Reef, I had an ominous feeling that maybe our paths would not cross again. It's just, I didn't expect this day to come so soon. Evans will is, is cer certainly is cruel. That's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say that. What do you tend to do, Robin? I don't know. There are too many things happening. I'm too confused to process them right now. All of us, you, me, my brother, all of us, we obviously have nothing but kind intentions to do the best we can in all we do and to give it our all, but our countless kind acts only end up in tragedy. This world is really not very beautiful at all. <laughs> Look how depressed I am! Uh, yeesh! Oh, uh, what do I say to this depressed girl? But we can make it better! Dude, after that triumphant battle, I'm not gonna like be a, a Debbie down here. We can make it better! Come on! You're right. There's plenty more we can do. The dream is on the verge of collapse, and many sinister characters are raring to capitalize on the situation. I have to protect this place at all costs, call it of all impurities, and turn it into something better. I'm sure Sunday would also want me to do so. Speaking of my brother, though we only found this journal, I don't think it means anything right now. My instincts tell me that he's definitely alive and well somewhere in this dream, and looking for a new way out for the ideal that we share. I mean, the sky is where the birds belong. May your ideals come true. No matter what, I hope you have no regrets. But first, you must have you have to protect yourself. I'm a I'm feeling a little bit protective. Like I would want to say the third one, but no matter what, I hope. Now I'm gonna pick the third one. Hey, you gotta watch out for yourself, girl. Yes, I understand. But I'll never back down. Nor have I ever. Let's leave it here for now. Thank you for chatting with me for so long. I'm guessing the hounds have already discovered that I've slipped out. I'm sorry, Dozer, but I have to return now. May the Harmony's Light be with you. Return where? Where are you going? Just before the last words drop, a faded card falls out. Huh? This is... Someone's treasure. The collectible cards of the Planet of Festivity series. Okay. This collectible card showcases exceptional craftsmanship. Okay. Oh, to my dear brother, may our skies always shine bright with starlight. Oh, this is something that she gave him? <laughs> I also have a card that resembles this. No, this is a limited edition. <laughs> oh, damn it. The distributor gave it to me as a commemorative souvenir, but I thought it would mean more to my brother, so I wrote some kind words on it and gave it to him. You know, if you write on it like that, well... It's kind of like an autograph, so I guess that would make it more valuable. But otherwise, you are kind of tarnishing the mid condition of the card. <laughs> I never thought he'd still have this. Aww. So Sunday kept it! Dude cares about his sister. He's just misguided. It's been so many years. He must be really lonely. Damn! Brony's to get himself a girlfriend or something. Her face flushes red in less than perfect smile. The feather he dropped. Oh, so that's it?
I guess it's nice to to get a little bit more information after everything went down because the the last thing we saw during the story was them falling from the sky and then we cut to <sighs> Aventurine talking to Jade and then Boot Hill coming in with the with a gun. But there was no explanation about the state of affairs in Panacone or like, you know, where's Robin and Sunday. Everyone theorizes that it was Elio that was saying the final words describing what happened. And then there was that line that says the siblings were doomed to be eternally separated or something like that, which is like, are they, did they mean metaphorically? Did they mean physically? Um, it's kind of cool to see that there's something tangible that happened before. I like and I dislike that it was hidden. Like, I think that warrants its own cutscene. If he doesn't come into play again in the story, I'm gonna be mad. That would kind of suck. I don't know. I don't think the I don't think he needs to be like necessarily redeemed. Like at least fully. This is kind. He, he does have to suffer some form of pun form of punishment otherwise it's a cop-out considering everything that he's done but if anything i just want sunday and robin to kind of be reunited hey i don't i don't feel like sunday being killed or being locked up that sucks for robin because obviously robin really cares about his brother about her brother so sad also this freaking organ music needs to freaking stop <laughs> 